गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इन यूट्यूब विच इज नोन एज फैप फाइव टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस सम एनवायरमेंटल साइंस वर्कशीट एंड दिस इज फॉर नर्सरी क्लास स्टूडेंट्स सो एज यू कैन सी इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज मी एंड माई फैमिली सो इन साइड मी वट आर द मेन टॉपिक्स दैट इज नेसेसरी टू बी अवेयर ऑफ फर्स्ट इज वट इज योर नेम so my name is you will write your name over in this dash then are you a girl or a boy tick the correct picture so you will tick the correct picture if you are a boy you will tick it in the boy over here if you are a girl you will tick it in this check box next is now color how old are you so what is your age according to your age okay you will tick or you will color not tick any color you can use of your choice Okay, four, five, six. These are the age groups where you can select and color it. So, this is the next thing about me and my family. All about me, like my favorite color. So, what is your favorite color? You will write over here. For example, my favorite color is red. You can be blue or other any color. Then, my favorite food. What do you like to eat the most? Okay, so my favorite food is ice cream. Your favorite food can be anything else that you have to write. You will write according to what is your favorite, not what I am telling over here. Then my favorite animal, my favorite animal is lion. Yours can be any anyone else like elephant or a, any other animal. Then my favorite food, for example, my favorite food is apple. Yours can be mango, banana, etc. My favorite number. So any number. which is your favorite number my favorite number is 5 yours can be any favorite number and lastly i like to so this is actually telling you to write about your hobby for what you like to do so for example i like to read books you like to maybe uh, play football or uh, you you like to maybe you like to draw like this so whatever you like to do the most you can write over here it may be playing it may be painting maybe drawing it may be writing okay anything next is who does this in your family so who does this in your in your family for example if i consider my family who does cooks the food so cooking the food is done by my mother so i'll write over your mother next packs your school bag so i do not go to school but my son goes to school who packs is bags he is mother so you will write over here mother then sets the dining table again it can be anybody it can be mother or any other elder person in our case it is mother in your case it might be someone else so you have to write their name over here looks after the plants again it is the mo mother who looks after the plants again i'll write mother over here goes to the market so goes to the market i go to the market then grandfather goes to the market okay uncle goes to the market so i can write uncle goes to the market take care of you when you are sick obviously taking care of you if you are sick the most is done by mother only next is <clears throat> circle the word and match with the picture so one what is this picture this is the picture of a nose so we have to circle nose next two this is the picture of an eye so you have to circle the eye over here three what is this this is the picture of a sip dip nip no it is a picture of lip fourth what is the this picture is about this picture is ear So not tear fear and dear next this is a picture of a hand so circle the hand and six this is the picture of a leg so circle the leg next is tick the right number so you have to tick the right number of the parts of the body for example one Two eyes, three eyes, four eyes. How many eyes we have? We have two eyes. So you put a check over here. Then two, two legs, three legs, six legs. How many legs we have? 
we have two legs we put a cheek over here then two years two years two years so we have two years so anyone you can put a check or you can also put a check in all because all of these are two years so i am just putting a check in the first one next fourth 10 fingers 8 fingers 20 fingers so 10 fingers we have 10 fingers 5 5 in each hand so 10 figures has to be checked next one nose two nose three nose how many more nose we have we have one nose next two hands three hands four hands how many hands we have we have two hands so you will have to check this one next match the body parts to the object we use to clean it so first one is ear we can clean our ear using this this is known as an earbud next we have lips or teeth in this case so we can clean our teeth using toothbrush and toothpaste like this then nose we can clean our nose okay this is talking about a running nose not inside the nose so when we have we are sick you know with cough and cold we have running nose so we can clean our no running nose using any cloth generally we use a handkerchief for that handkerchief is a small piece of a rectangle or a square cotton thin very thin piece of cloth next hands we can wash our hands using a soap and finally hair how do you maintain our hair or clean our hair out of dust particles using a comb next is color the circle below the things you can hear so here are some things we have to color it in your case you can color it i will put a check in this circle provided just beside the objects which we can hear with our ears for example radio bell crow guitar a drum and a roar of a lion so we can hear all these things so next is color only the things you can smell so we have to color the things which we can smell here it is already colored okay in your case also you can put a check because i am going to also put a check against the objects for example you can smell a rose with the nose you can smell a perfume then you can smell a soap and then you can smell incense sticks these are all the objects that you can smell so next thing put a tick for the things that you can touch so we have to put a tick against the things that we can touch we cannot touch a sun we cannot touch clouds but we can touch an umbrella then we can touch a bench then we can touch a kite a spinning top also is possible for us to touch we cannot touch moon but a ball definitely and we cannot touch stars next color only the things you can taste here it is already colored for you just you have to put a check against the things like i am going to do right now for example you can taste an apple yes you can taste a sandwich yes you can taste a food inside a tiffin box yes you can obviously taste an ice cream and you can taste a honey what you cannot taste is a pencil an iron or a ball now we'll go to the next page next color the circle below the things you carry to school so i am not going to color i am going to put a check for you to understand which of these things can we carry to our school or we carry to our school so cart no we do not carry our cart to our school when we say carry to our school is what we can take inside the classroom okay remember that chair no chair is already present in your classroom for you to sit but to drink water water bottle is necessary which is provided by your parents every day when you go to school then tiffin is necessary to feed yourself that is also provided by your parents next pencil and rubber obviously 
to write and to erase when you, when you make some mistake pencil and rubber you have to carry to your school then a school bag all these things comes inside a school bag so you carry a school bag you do not carry a spinning top you can carry books according to your syllabus and teddy bear you obviously do not carry to your schools next thing is color the circle below the things you see in your classroom so now we have to recognize among these objects which of these objects we see day to day in our classroom and then we have to put a check in the circle beside it for example first is chalk and a duster yes we see chalk and a duster the teacher uses it to write in the whiteboard then we have a bench yes we sit and keep our uh, books pencil box and our bags in the bench next is whiteboard teacher uses a whiteboard to teach us to write something and then we have to copy it in our copies next a world map sometimes inside a classroom you will see a world map teacher uses it to teach us different places and different countries names then we see books yes we see different books carried by either us or by teachers or there can also be a small bookshelf where day to day uh, books can be kept by the teacher okay so these are all the things that we see in a classroom we do not see nail cutters we do not see a cycle we do not see a dog another thing which you can see inside a classroom i have missed sorry for that is a dustbin yes a dustbin is also there inside a classroom you know to throw away unused things inside it without dirtying the classroom next circle the objects used by a teacher in the classroom so we have to circle the objects in this case we will check the objects which the teacher uses inside a classroom for example first is books yes to teach us next is chalk and a duster yes to write in white board iron she doesn't use it soap she doesn't use it pencil rubber is used by us not by teacher bucket is of no use to a teacher tiffin is used by us not by teacher white board is used by teacher to write using this chalk and duster and finally world map is also used by teacher to teach us about different geographic places and country names next is color the circle below the domestic animals we will again check it we will not going to color it but first of all we need to know what comes under domestic animals so domestic animals are a combination of two type of animals one is pet animals pet animals are those animals which we keep in our house they live with us inside our house and farm animals farm animals are animals that we keep in our farm okay and they provide us with different types of foods and other materials which we are which we use in day to day life or for business purpose so here in this picture as you can see first is a camel now camel is a domestic animal because it it, it lives with the person in their home so when i mention in their home we do not mention it we would do not mean that they live in the bedroom but they have a separate place in their house where they keep their camels in the desert so camel is a domestic animal elephant is not a domestic animal it is a wild animal it lives in the jungle next is cow cow is a farm animal and hence a domestic animal we cow lives in cow shed and in a farm or it can also live in a cow shed which is attached to a house so domestic animal next is cat cat is a pet animal so again a domestic animal dog is also a pet animal so a domestic animal lion is a wild animal lives in jungle monkey is a wild animal lives in jungle bear is a wild animal lives in jungle but hen is a domestic animal because it is a farm animal it is kept in farm it and it provides us with eggs and other materials so hen is a domestic animal next tick the water animals only so monkey no this is a sea horse lives in sea this is octopus again sleeps in sea waters crab can be found in sea waters butterfly no fish can be found in fresh water and sea waters shark yes shark can be found in sea waters hen lives in land 
Starfish can be found in sea waters. So next is circle the insects we see in our house. So mosquito is there. <coughs> Butterfly we see grasshopper is found in crops and plant areas. So it is not found in our house. Beetle is also found in jungle and wild areas where there are lots of wild crops and wild plants. Housefly is there. Housefly is found in our house. And obviously cockroach is also there. Most common insects in our house. Next is cross the insects which spread diseases. Instead of crossing, we will put check. First is cockroach spread diseases because it travels in dirty areas. Next, ant. Ant doesn't spread diseases. Butterfly doesn't spread diseases. Bee doesn't spread diseases. Housefly does because it also goes to dirty areas. And mosquito is definitely carrier of various diseases. For example, malaria and others. So, next is match the animals to what they give us. So, here we will talk about what they give us and what we can relate them with. For example, cow, we can relate a cow with milk because it provides us with milk. So, join them with this straight line. Next is sheep. From sheep, we get wool which provides us with wool and clothes. Next is horse. Horse pulls a cart. Okay, so this is a cart and in a cart, it pulls lots of other things. Okay, so horse is a strong animal. It uses cart to pull different objects for different weights. Next is hen. Hen provides us with egg. And finally bee. Bee provides us with honey. Match animals with their food. So dog. Dog eats bone. As you can see in various cartoons. Next lion. Lions eat meat. Cow. Cow eats grass. Then rabbit. Rabbit eats carrot. And finally rat. Rat eats cheese. Next write W for wild animals and D for domestic animals. So what are the wild animals? Bear. Wild. Dog. Domestic. Elephant. Wild. Goat. Domestic. Deer. Wild. Sheep. Domestic. Lion. Wild. Fox. Wild. Rhinoceros. Wild. Next is color the circle below birds that swim in water. So we are going to put a check against those birds which can swim. Remember those birds which can swim meaning birds which can swim in water or across water bodies. Penguin can swim across a water body. Pigeon cannot swim in water. Swan can swim in water. Crane cannot swim in water. But duck definitely can and parrot cannot. So this was the last page for today's worksheet on environmental science topics for nursery students. We came to end, we come to the end of this session with that. I hope you will enjoy this session as much we do we did while making it. With that, I'll close this session. But before that, some useful information for our viewers. First of all, please subscribe to our channel already if you are not a member of it. And do press the bell icon because that will give you the information about the latest uploads in our channel so that you are updated on whatever contents we are providing online and with that i close this session we'll meet again another day with another interesting session another interesting sets of worksheet till then have a good day goodbye